everybody! <laughs> We're gonna do another uh, unban request video because you guys have been asking for it like crazy. I'm sorry. Hi. Hello. This is my new squish that I bought the other day and I just, I just wanted her to have her moment. I've been asking you guys what videos you want, what types of things you'd like to see more of and like overwhelmingly everybody is like unban request. On banner quest. We need those. They're so funny. We want to see more. So part two, let's do it. <sighs> These are all really old. I want to like really dig into like the older ones because I just feel like that's going to be more fun <laughs> because they're going to be like really out there. Some of the newer ones, are, nah. they can they can sit, they can simmer a bit. Think about what they did. So let's get into it. Very strong first one. Flash and I'll donate a thousand dollars as a birthday gift. No cap. Okay, I'll stop. No, we're not doing that. Wrong website to ask for that. Try again somewhere else. What's this one? Hi, cutie. I'm so fucking drunk. I'll fly you out on a private jet to Singapore. Sure, bud. Thoughts? That's what she said. You should follow my commando routine. It would really help. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? For what? <laughs> Private jet? Nah. Biggie cheese, by the way. I love gay. Guys, I am gay. Is the trapper also gay? Do you accept neo pronouns? Did you hear about the... You know what? I'm gay. <laughs> Good for you, bud. Uh, <laughs> I'm bi, but this whole, this whole, I don't, I don't know. That just, the thing with my mods is I kind of let them just kind of, they, they get to decide, like, is somebody going to fit in with the, like, feeling of our community? And clearly somebody like this is never in a million fucking years going to fit in with our community. <laughs> Wow, it's your birthday. Damn, I kind of don't care. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> wow, you got banned. Damn, I kind of don't care. God, I hate when people do this shit. Some of you don't really do the whole Twitch thing, which is actually really cool, by the way. Those of you who support me just on YouTube. Hi, hello, it's nice to see you. People will go into Twitch streams and just straight up try to like troll the streamer into thinking that they got like a huge donation. Like this would be the equivalent of two $100 donations to a streamer. And when you're just kind of like scanning through chart really quick, you like see it and you're like, what? And it's just, it's just mean to do to streamers. It was just a prank, but that I don't like that kind of shit. Fun fact, we, this doesn't have anything to do with like this specific person, but probably one of the most unfortunate situations that ever happened with a donation in my channel. Somebody donated $666. And I start freaking out. I start tearing up. I mean, because that's a lot of money. That's an insane amount of money. And this was like also a lot earlier in my Twitch career. Like that kind of money meant so much. It still does. But it was so overwhelmingly amazing. And then the person in chat said that they forgot a decimal. They meant to donate six dollars and 66 cents not $666. So uh, yeah, had to uh, refund that one after like freaking out and crying on stream and all of these things and all that. So I like, I did end up giving them back the money cause you can like somehow through PayPal, I don't even remember at this point, but I did end up giving them back their money and like credit to them ever since then, they have uh, upped their, their tier of their sub and we do still kind of poke fun at them sometimes when they pop up into chat, but it is purely just like, it's just for fun. But yeah, uh, maybe double check your, your decimals and stuff when you're donating to streamers because uh, probably the most awkward situation we've ever had on my stream. Also, this guy, he's just, bye. Just, just bye. Okay. Uh, 
this one interesting because i never even saw this message in chat or i would have like i would have absolutely lost my fucking shit uh calling one of my really good friends who's a streamer is a racist truth has to come out not trying to hate it's the truth i was probably playing apex with vince and morph we used to do that we used to get the trio together it was amazing it was like the three stooges but then to say he's a racist and cauliflower is vincent's slut vince is like 20 years older than me by the way <laughs> vince is like i think he's like 46 or something absolutely not uh very good friend but holy shit what the, what it just just you get out of here oh okay so this isn't so funny because they i don't know why they got timed out wait who reached out do you get deja vu when she's with you so when are you gonna tell her that we did that too i have no idea what this is i don't know what these are but there must have been a reason for it but then they say you were such a rude ass bitch with your boring ass live streams you mad over a lyric that was supposed to be for fun and you got mad over a question i asked you're a miserable nasty rat with your dead ugly hair it's so interesting to me how much people lash out at my hair because they can't think of anything better, so they come for my appearance. You want to insult me? Insult my intelligence. But you come for my appearance? That's just coming from like a really deep, like terribly sad spot in your soul. And I hope you find happiness, but... Don't come for my hair, bitches. My hair is fantastic. Kayla, I'm going to the end to fight the Ender Dragon in your name. At first, when I saw her hair, I thought she was an alien from Alien vs. Predator. See, they, they always come for the hair. I really, I don't know why, I don't know why we're, we always go for the hair. I was having a hard time getting an affiliate when I was streaming DVD. Okay, self-promoting, not the biggest fan of that. He was staring at your ass. I'm starting to see why they didn't work out. I'm reported and the killer hopes that his report won't get me banned. Watch out for the killer, this guy's name. He, okay. Never knew why I was banned. This wasn't a feature way back then. Found you of Steam and figured I can find out why and maybe get unbanned. It was a bummer when I was banned. Don't normally cause any trouble at all. Best guess was I was memeing and calling you mom and Vincent Vega dad and maybe I went overboard. Please let me know either way. This has been a mystery to me for years that has upset me till this day. I would see your name and think, why did I get banned? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly have not, I'm really not sure why they got banned. It could have just been a day. I don't know. It sounds like they did something in another channel because they got banned. So their last message in my channel was on the 1st, but they got banned on the 18th. So all I can assume is that this was like a cross ban. So while I would normally really like to give them another chance for a message like this, I, I really think that this must have been a ban that happened in like another channel that my mods found out about and then had to do it in mine because of something, but I don't have any like, I don't have any info on that. So we're just gonna deny. <laughs> Wanna fuck? Uh, I simply do not remember saying this, but I assure you it will not happen again. <laughs> Want fuck? <laughs> um, no, I don't. Um, I'm just, I guess I'm just in a sassy mood today because I don't want any of these bitches to be here. <laughs> I am a toe doctor. Send pics for info. Toe doctor? I had a dream. I got toe pics for being a toe doctor. That's crazy toe pics. I think that this guy is friends with the other guy from our last unbanned video. Show feet, please. Never for free. I'm um, sorry I went to therapy and I don't like feet now. I'm into tits. <laughs> okay, Sasquatch feet first of all. <laughs> please forgive me for my toe pick comments. I thought it was kind of funny. I apologize. Okay, fine. No more toes. They get one more chance, okay? I just felt bad I was banning everybody. I kind of deserved it though. In another phase, you are my one crush. The reason why you aren't is because we don't live near each other and you don't reply to me. D just stop crushing on your fucking streamers, please. Stop 
Stop, stop trying to fucking form relationships and it's so parasocial. I only sent that message because I was trying to show some literal support. I know a lot of people might think people might not have good intentions, but I did. I'm not here to be your streamer crush. Have a good one. You are beautiful. Please play DBD with Perk Blast Mine. It's a two in one. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you don't have passion for games, you just want to chat. They probably got upset because I start every single stream of mine in just chatting. Like, like the first, like, hour, hour and a half or so, we usually try to dedicate to just chatting. Like, me, the community, we talk, we catch up, we hang out. Some people, especially from that game, uh, they never understood that, like, a streamer might want to interact with their community, so they would always get so angry about it. Please forgive me, please. I didn't mean to say anything bad. You are also super beautiful. I love your own orange hair. Well, at least this guy likes the hair this time. But no, um, just no. I've, if there's anything that I'm learning, it's that the, the viewers who were pretty much just like exclusively around that game they don't care about this community. They don't care about me. They don't want to be there for anything but that game. And like, I'm just, I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> what? God, when I play against Claudette, I just get so hard and it's so difficult to play DBD. It's the ultimate hinder to my gameplay. I can't help it. I was just bricked up. Dude is sitting there gaming and just... Every time that I'm, I'm not going to go into it. Um, <clears throat> maybe find a different game that doesn't brick you up so much. I don't know. I feel weird. Okay. I want to go to like the very first. Let's go all the way back. Come on. Oh my God. The very first one. It says this user has not chatted in the channel. Only if Kayla would have me back, I'd like to return and chat with you guys. Otherwise, I'll respect her decision and wish her nothing but the best. Well, that's a mystery and a half. Who the fuck is this? What's... I don't... This must have been so old that their chat logs literally don't go back that far. Because in case you didn't know, I am an ancient streamer and I've been on this platform for like eight and a half years. I literally started streaming in 2014. Is that, is that right? 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my god, yeah. No, that is right. October 1st of 2014. That was my very first stream. Sorry, quick maths. I'm gonna leave that there just because it's the first one we ever had. Yo, I'm a broke bitch. Let me get a gift. These emotes godly. <laughs> they timed them out because we don't like when people beg for gift subs. Ayo hey, mod, you a bitch. <laughs> Hey, yo, Mod, you still a bitch? <laughs> hey, yo, Chatter, you still a bitch. <laughs> they said it's just Twitch for Pete's sake. It's not a real job. Not even sure why I'm banned. I rarely use Twitch. Whatever I said, I'm sorry. I don't believe that. A lot of people think that, like, if your job isn't, like, manual labor, if you're not out, like, swinging a hammer all day, it's not a real job. It's so funny. I used to work at a Fortune 500. I worked an office job, like, an 8 to 5, and I... <laughs> I wanted to follow my passion and be a streamer. But what I didn't realize with being an entrepreneur was instead of working an eight to five, I would be working 24 seven, 365. I work harder than I have ever worked in my entire life. So anybody who's ever like, it's not a real job. They just don't understand what the fuck streamers or content creators in general do. I don't have any time for people around here. You got banned for saying Streaming isn't a real gerb. Get a life. Haha, <laughs> you can't say anything back. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Damn, 800 viewers, but only 50 chatters. View bots? Uh, they got banned, obviously, 
for implying that my success was me viewbotting. I sent one message. I was just asking if somebody was viewbotting. Didn't mean it in a bad way. I don't know how you could mean that in a good way. I don't know if people do still viewbot. I guess people probably do, but like back when I was first starting streaming, viewbotting was a really, really big problem. And I saw a lot of people who kind of used that to come up through the ranks and somehow got away with it. But for the record, I don't even know where you would get that stuff and I've never done it. I'm very by the book. I'm I am very goody two shoes. I do, I do not ever uh like breaking rules. I get like I have like this guilt that will like tear me to pieces if I do anything that I don't think is uh like by the book. It's actually probably to a fault, but yeah, we're just going to deny them. <laughs> Wait. Hello! Your live streams make me want to buy McDonald's and eat it at Burger King. Your YouTube videos makes me want to microwave my TV and watch my popcorn. Well, guess what? We got new YouTube videos. This is from 2019. We got new YouTube videos. We got a bitchin' new editor. This shit's going great. I'm trying to get videos out every week, but it's really tough and I'm working on it. We're trying to figure these things out, but this person might actually like my YouTube now, actually. Eh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Rumor has it you have ugly ass feet and that's why you hide them all the time. Mad that you'll never be as big as Jen Denise. Been streaming for what, four plus years and never ever hitting 1K? Oop. Wow. Wow. There's a lot to unpack here. So the rumor is uh, that I have ugly ass feet. Now I have perfectly fine feet. I don't show them for free. You can do the math there. Uh, you should see my DMs sometime. And then this whole, you'll never be as big as Jen Denise. Been streaming for four plus years, never hitting 1K. So I did used to hit 1K every once in a while with Dead by Daylight uh, when that was my main game. I also absolutely hate when people compare like streamers to one another. Jen is one of my friends and I think she's absolutely incredible. Like I said, DVD, if I really stuck to Dead by Daylight and like full sended that as much as a lot of other people have, I could have done that. And I also would have never been able to play anything else ever again. I prioritized my mental health and my happiness and my core community and I said, all right, toodles. And we went to variety and I'm not looking back. But that is actually insane to me that somebody would say something like that and just be like, you're never gonna be big. You're not even hitting a thousand viewers. For the record, I actually just sent off an email to a company um, that I'm trying to work with on some stuff. I'm averaging 400 viewers currently with variety with new games that's 400 people that will watch me do anything i guarantee this person can't even get one just saying that kind of ugly ass opinion just saying i bet you can't even get one you ever want me to do like an updated like streaming like tips or like some kind of video around Twitch streaming, let me know because I have a lot of thoughts on that. All that to say, I'm very proud of my 400 plus concurrent viewership that I have for Variety. That is a very big feat and that has taken a very long time to build. Slow growth is sustainable. Fast growth on this platform, I've seen it crash and burn a bunch of times. I would much rather have a smaller, tight knit, slow growth kind of community over one that I can't even read. Imagine thinking someone's worth is tied to viewership. Couldn't be me. These are shitty, okay? These on ban request, I'm gonna need somebody to pick it up and bring me something good. Like, I I'm gonna need somebody to bring me something funny. <laughs> No charm today. Can I eat you? Could go two ways. One, sexual. Two, Jeffrey Dahmer? Do we let Jeffrey Dahmer back into the community? You know, why not? Just don't turn 
into Dahmer, please. Unban. Good luck with that one, mods. <laughs> What's your friend's Insta? I'm so curious. You need to share with the people, darling. Oof, ooh, ooh, I hate when people call me darling. Not darling? Hmm, Carla then? Neither, because neither are my name. All right, I respect that. So let's start dating. It was just a silly joke. No, it wasn't. You were crossing my boundaries. I called you out. Ugh. No need to be modest, darling. Darling. My name's not darling. I can't stand when people use pet names. I really can't. It implies, like, ownership, and it's very weird as a streamer to have to, like, deal with that. All right, I'm gonna find one more. Just one more. Oh. Have you all ever taken a shit and then scratch your bum and sniff and lick your finger? Or is it just me? I would have banned that too, Coffin. It was just a question. And y'all take it to heart like, bro, stop being a fucking bitch. Maybe stop being a fucking weirdo in Twitch chats. I swear, as a Twitch streamer, I'm a babysitter. These, they, they have to be children. They have to be kids who aren't even supposed to be on this platform. Because who the fuck says something like that in a channel? I just... I'm not even giving you a fucking response. I just... Wait, can I copy this? <laughs> I'm gonna send him a poo emoji. That was a doozy. Um... <laughs> Let me know what your favorite... ban... was. That was... That was something. It's always- they always comment on the hair, though. They do. They always try to, to rip apart the hair. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one. Make sure you subscribe! Like and subscribe! Because I'm a YouTuber now and I have to say that shit. Uh, but seriously, leave a comment. It helps me out. Pushes me through the algorithm. Love me. Please help me so much. Okay, um, anyway, I'm gonna go, but, uh, back to posting new videos every Friday. Let me know in the comments anytime you have an idea for a new one. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!